presented by Church Tech U. It's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to add songs in ProPresenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you uh, want to learn more ways to add songs than probably the one way you're doing it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It's certainly the case that most people just add songs one way. But in ProPresenter 7, there's actually a few different ways to do it. So let's head over to my computer and I'll show you exactly how to go about doing just that. When you're bringing in a song into ProPresenter 7, there are three ways to do it. You've probably done one of them, but maybe not all of them. So, let me show you each of the ways in turn. First thing, if you go to search, you'll notice this other icon. If your church has a CCLI license, which unless you're doing all public domain music, so all hymns that you know were made before 1927, then you need a CCLI license in all likelihood. Or something similar. There are others in other parts of the world and um, there are a few denominations that have their own. But if you have that then you can pay for an add-on called Song Select. So you click on this and then you put in your Song Select username and password and then you can search for the song. That's way number one. Way number two is let's say that it's a song that was uh, written locally, so you've got permission from the uh, person that wrote it to bring it in. No need to go to Song Select and find out that there's five different songs with the same title and you have to figure out which is which. Don't worry about that. Just put it in as a text file. So let me show you how to do that. Go to File, Import, text from uh, clipboard if you've already copied it or in this case what I'm going to show you is file. So if we go to file there I'm going to scroll down here to this and I'm going to show it to you first because I've got an important point to make. So notice that there are eight lines here. That's a little large for a screen. Too many lines your eye could get lost. So. I'd encourage you to do no more than six, but two to four is really better than six even. So with that said, let me close that down and keep that selected. I'm going to click import, and this is the same dialogue that um, you'll have in any of those three situations when you go to import it. So. Even if you're copying it from the clipboard, it'll bring up this di dialogue. So the first thing it wants to know is, how, where should I split up the slides? So right here, I have it set to line break, but the other choice is paragraph break. If I did paragraph break, it would break at the paragraph. I don't want it to do that because that would be eight lines. I want it to break on the lines. But not one line, I want four lines. So that's why down here I've changed delimiters per slide to four. So this is where should I break and how many of those until I break. And that's what that is. This is the resolution of your largest screen. And then this is the theme you're going to use. I'm going to uh, just leave it as is. The theme is a preset for uh, text color, size, if you've got an outline, if it's all caps, stuff like that. So I've got a totally different video on that. Now, where do I want to bring it in? I want to bring it into the hymns and then bring it into the playlist. So I'm going to click Import. Now, you won't have this unless you forgot that you had the song already. Um, but what I'm going to do in this case is New Version so that it will show all of those settings to you. So I'm going to do that, 
and then I go down here and notice that it did exactly that four lines per slide and I'm done now it's not going to be it's not going to have all the verses and other designations to do that I would need to right click and go to group and then select verse 1 for verse 1 and then for verse 2 right click go to group and go to verse 2 the reason that that's important is twofold first off you get the hotkey added automatically up here so if I type in let's say I'm on this let me take out the key here okay so if I'm on that and I want to go back to the first slide in verse 1 type a it pops back there immediately if I want to go to first slide in verse 2 goes there immediately so that's nice also it's great for arrangements so here I have the ability to create arrangements if I click on this arrangements button so that is some other stuff that you can do but I did want to show you those three ways to just bring in text uh, quickly and easily in ProPresenter 7 if you like this content, I happen to know that you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick and um, put in your name and email address. I guess my coffee's starting to wear off. <laughs> put in your name and email address and then I'll automatically create a login for you so that you can take part in that course. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.